Shalom and greetings, everybody. Brother Nicholas James Vanderlane here. It is the night of the 14th day of the first month, so it is Passover. It is April 3rd, 2019. All my children are asleep, so I had this video that I wanted to make today, but I spent too much time getting ready for the Passover, and now everybody's asleep. I want to put it out. Um, this video is being broadcasted from Elat, Israel. So I am down here still in Ezi and Geber, Edom, outside of the borders of Israel, but in the modern state of Israel. This video is titled, Real Enoch Calendar, Confirmed by Zadok Priest Lunar Markers. So as I've been saying, there is only one method to correctly intercalate the calendar to have a full 364 day calendar year every year and also use the 365th day of the solar cycle which is the spring equinox the great sign on the earth per jubilee 2 verse 9 every year to calibrate the calendar that's the whole purpose of the sign is to calibrate the calendar every year so no other method does so it gives you a three, 364 every year and uses the sign every year Important to note, myself and many others in the body of Messiah have intercalated the 365th day of the solar cycle prior to the Ruach, Spirit of Truth, identifying the day in Enoch chapter 72, verse 33. That is where the day, the 365th day of the solar cycle is, the separation day. You can watch this video here regarding it. It is important to note, all of us who have done this have determined the correct method of the calendar keeping uh, strictly from the scriptures, from the Torah, the Tanakh, Jubilees, and Enoch, and not the Zadok Priest lunar markers or the Zadok Priest cycle found in the Dead Sea Scrolls at Qumran. If our calendar keeping method be correct, then the lunar markers of the Zadok Priestly courses of the Dead Sea Scrolls would confirm our calendar is correct. And they do, which is why I'm making this video. I will be using the lunar markers of the Zadok Priestly cycle found in the Dead Sea Scrolls to confirm that the calendar I publish has been intercalated correctly because all the lunar markers of the Zadok Priest order all fit. Other calendars are currently one day off and timekeeping is all about precision. This video, as the others, is not about being right. Okay, Being right has pride and I've seen too much pride in the calendar game okay rather this video is about being correct and I'll as I've already explained it here and other videos so I'm going to use the sample of the following priestly order this sample right here uh, to disprove that March 20th 2019 was not the first day of the first month currently Derek at YouTube channel Zadok Way has the first day of the first month on March 20th, 2019, and same with Leland Jones. I confronted Leland Jones in Jerusalem. He couldn't handle it, and he ran off. And now Derek here at Zadok Way, I sent him. A, I haven't heard back from him in like over nine, about nine days now, and he seems disinterested in testing the information that he put forward. So I'm a little concerned there as well. Hopefully, it's not the case, and he comes around. That would be great, but we, considering that we had Passover and he didn't press into it, I'm a little bit suspect right now. So, um, the calendar he currently has published is incorrect, so hopefully it'll change. If it changes, I'll put I'll pin a comment. The translator here, Geza Verms, says that this fragment regulates the lunar cycle of the solar year of the first year. So there's a three-year solar cycle, okay? Months two through five is what these fragments are for. So we're going to be looking at line four and line five. Now, I want to say that Derek at YouTube channel Zadok Way did use these, but he was saying, oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. Well, calendar and timekeeping is all about precision. Being one day off is not, it's not acceptable. It just doesn't work. You're either incorrect or you're correct, and that's incorrect. But we're going to be looking at the full moon is on the Sabbath of the course of Kos on the 30th day of the second month and then also of the second month the first crescent is on the first day of Malkajah on the 17th of the month so on the 17th of the second solar month so 
I think it's best that we look for the crescent moon first because it happens on the 17th and then we'll go ahead and look for the full moon on the 30th. This is going to be the best way to understand this, okay? So on March 20th, 2019, as the first day of the first month, means that May 5th, 2019 is their 17th day of the second month. So there should be a first crescent on this date if they're accurate. But when you look into it, is that on that day of May 5th, the moon is in tandem the whole day with the sun and the sun sets like a couple minutes right before the moon sets and the moon goes down to 0.0 percent illumination so it's a dark moon and then at sun setting or moon setting the moon is 0.6 percent illuminated so not even a, basically a half percent illuminated so it will not be visible on their day so that right there just shows that they're incorrect. Now, uh, Derek might say, hey, we're close, but no, uh, there's no such, timing is all about precision. Ask Rolex, ask all the Swiss, Swiss watchmakers, the high-end luxury Swiss watchmakers, timepiece makers, it's always about precision. So what we'll find is, and I'll show you the graphic coming up, is that May 6, 2019, the moon will be 3.4% illuminated and visible at moon set. So this will truly be the first crescent. This is the real 17th day of the second month, as you will see. So the fact that no first crescent appears on May 5th proves that March 20th, the day of the equinox, is, in, is the incorrect day to start the year. The full moon for this month, if with their start of the year on March 20th, means that May 18th would have been their 30th day of the second month. So the moon should be full. Now this is a little bit tricky and I'm going to walk you through this. So on May 18th the moon goes full at midnight, so that night. But what happens is is that the moon sets at 6.08 a.m. It's going to be 99% full, but what's interesting is is that the sun rises about 30 minutes earlier at at 5:40, okay, the sun rises, which means that, and the full, and the moon is going to be 99.9% .9 full still. So basically, it's a full moon, okay. When it gets to that 100%, it's like there for like a couple of minutes, 100%, and then it starts to wane. So it's going to technically be a full moon on this day. And so um, again, like I said, by proving the crescent, if you, the 17th day is May 6th, which I will prove to you and show you the crescent moon there. There's no way if you count off of that 13 days, it's not March 18th, it's March 19th. So March 18th is not the 30th day, I should say. March 19th is. And because there is uh, about 30 minutes of, 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 uh, of time between the, the moon sets after the sun rises, the sunrise starts the day, therefore, that May 19th is the 30th day of the uh, second month. And it's really, the calendar, it's, it's really something when you see how all of these do, but you have to consider that every time um, you look at something, when the sun rises and the moon is up and it's still 99.9% .9 full, it's a full moon on the new day, okay? So again, this proves that March 21st, 2019 is the first day of the first month, not March 20th. So tonight is Passover. But here's their, their, their 17th day of the second month. As you can see here on May 5th at 6 o'clock, the sun is about to set. Here's the horizon. All right, it's setting in the west. Here's the moon, and it is illuminated 0.6%, so about a half percent. You can't see this. The sun is shining. You won't be able to see that. And then there's a couple of minutes between then and the moon goes down. You won't be able to see the moon. It is a dark moon on their 17th day of the second month. But on the real 17th day of the second month, their crescent moon is visible. So the sun has set. It's, the, it's uh, May 6th, 2019. It's 7 o'clock. Okay, the sun has gone down. And as you can see, the illumination is 3.4%. So if we were to zoom in, and you'll everybody be able to see it because it's going to be dark out, you'll be able to see 
a crescent right here. So this definitely is the real 17th day of the second month, which means that the first day of the first month was March 21st, the day after the spring equinox, not the day of it. So here is where the, the moon sets at 6.08 a.m. on the 19th. The moon goes full at around midnight. And as you can see, the sun is rising at 5.40 a.m. So the sun is going to rise about 28 minutes before the moon sets. And therefore, because the moon is going to be 99.9% .9 when the sun rises, it's still a full moon. And here you can see it right here, 519, the sun is up, the moon is setting, and the moon is illuminated at 99.9%. .9 so this is the real 30th day of the second month. Again, the, their calendars are incorrect. This is all about being correct. There's no pride of being right here. This is just about being correct. But I do have problems when the facts are the facts and people want to dig their heels in and deny the facts that's a big problem okay that's called pride so here is 4q321a uh, line 5 okay as you can see first day of elishab on the 29th day of the third month you have the first crescent on the second day of Yeshua on the 16th of the month so again let's go ahead and first rather than the the full moon at the end Let's go ahead and verify the crescent moon first. The first crescent is going to be on June 4th, but with their start day of March 20th on the spring equinox, that means that June 3rd, 2019 is their 16th day of the third month. So the first crescent should be here. But again, the moon is at tandem with the sun, and when it sets, it's basically 0.1% illuminated. So it won't be visible that day. It's a dark moon. And on the following day, on June 4th, the moon will be 2% illuminated and visible at moon set, when the moon sets. So this is going to be the first crescent. And June 4th, 2019 is the real 16th day of the second month. So the full moon, using a March 20, 2019, their 29th day is June 16th. So the moon should be full on this day, but again, the moon is 99.9% .9 illuminated and waxing. So it has yet to go 100% full when the moon sets. Just before sunrise, the following day on June 17th, the moon goes 100% at 1130 a.m. So around almost noontime, it goes 100%. And then when the moon rises on this day, because okay, remember, the day starts at sunrise on this calendar. You have to get rid of the Hillel Babylonian mindset of a lunar calendar. So when the when the moon goes full on the 17th, and when it rises, when the moon rises that day, it will be 99.8 percent. So this again is the real day of the 29th day of the third month, and we know this because we find the first crescent. And we know the 16th day of the month on June 4th. So you just keep counting, da 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 da, da And then you can, you'll land here. And this will be, the, June 17th will be the 29th day. And sure enough, there's a full moon on there. It's so precise. It's amazing. Hallelujah. That we have these records. So here is their 16th day of the third month. As you can see, it's setting in tandem again. This is going to be June 3rd. And 0.1% illuminated. So... The moon is not going to be seen this day at all. Here's the real 16th day of the third month. And as you can see, the moon is going to set here on June 4th, around 741. And the moon is illuminated at 2%. So you'll be able to spot the first crescent there totally. And hallelujah that we have these records. And this is true. So here is uh, the full moon now. That was the crescent. Here's the full moon. And as you can see... The full moon happens on the 17th at 11.30, about noontime that day. Here is when the moon sets. The moon sets around 4 o'clock before sunrise. Okay, the moon sets before sunrise at 4 a.m. on June 17th. And when it sets, it's 99.9%. .9%. It hasn't gone full yet. Then the sun comes up. Okay, 
then uh, the moon is hidden, but it goes full at 11.30 a.m. At 11.30, the moon goes full, and then the moon will rise on the 17th. At 7.56, the moon will rise, and when the moon rises, it's going to be 99.88%. So it goes full. This is the real 29th day of the third month. And this is just how this calendar works. This proves that any calendars that start on the Mar on the spring equinox on March 20, 2019, or any spring equinox, because the year starts the day after, is incorrect. And that those who deny these facts are wrong at best, and they're lying at worst. And I know I'm using this word lying. It's a pretty harsh word, but that's exactly what Leland Jones is doing. Now, I'll give... Derek a little bit extra time here, but the fact that he won't see this information, like I said, I hope I could put in the comment section that he saw this. That would be a great thing. Uh, so this again proves that, uh, but the, it's a very serious thing. When you're publishing a calendar and someone approaches you with information, you better take a look at it um, because it's a serious thing what you're doing. Like a lot of people, they didn't celebrate Passover on the right day because his calendar was published. He had a week. I, I, I approached him like nine days ago. He had a week to change it. But I don't know if he ever changed it. It doesn't look like he did. And uh, that's just the way it is. So, uh, again, this isn't about the pride of being correct, uh, pride of being right. This is about being correct versus being incorrect. So, this proves that uh, others and myself that intercalate the 365th day of the solar cycle and the start of the year on the following day have the correct calendar. First day of the first month was on March 21st, 2019. Uh, this is solar year number one of three. But there is more. And there's so much more. Calendars of the priestly courses. You can see this in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'll be putting a link in there. There's just, there's even more than what I, I screenshotted. And so far, as I've been applying this to my Biblical Anniversary Spreadsheet, you can see here my Biblical Anniversary Spreadsheet, I started applying to the calendar. And as I've been doing that so far, everything checks out. You can check, out, check it out for yourself. Now, one thing I want to make sure that you're aware of, again, it's really tricky. you got to look at the sun. If the moon is still out when the sun rises and that moon is full or that moon's a crescent, then... It goes to that day with the sunrise um, if the moon is still out. So I'm leaving you guys with that. You guys can go ahead and take a look through the Biblical Anniversary Spreadsheet. As you can see, I've started adding these things here, um, you know, and take a look at it. Uh, but I believe I'm, uh, that this is the correct way. And I believe that this actually, these confirm, uh, the Zadok Priestly Courses confirm the correct calendar keeping. Hallelujah. I'll praise the Most High for letting us have these these documents, letting us have this understanding at these times as we watch and look. So I'll praise to the Father and to the Son. Be also putting a link to the Complete Dead Sea Scroll link into the description along with my Biblical Anniversary Spreadsheet. You guys can check this all out for yourselves. Look in the description for that. I'm signing off and Shalom.